Okay, uh, what we have here now is uh, a little bit about panel sizing. And uh, you have that figured out. Now the panels, what size panels do you want to use? Um, there's all kinds of panels, but there's only certain sizes that really the manufacturers are starting to build. If you go on there and you see so many companies on there, what you really want to look for is a company that has a reputation that's going to be around, you know, in case anything happens. It's a really low percentage of panels really going bad on you. So that's the beauty of solar. These, these panels are very good uh, and you hardly have any problems with them. So uh, let's talk about sizes. Panel sizes, there's really only two sizes as far as the structural of the panel. Uh, it's the smaller panel is 39 inches by 65 inches, you know, and the bigger panel is 39 inches by 77 inches, okay? Uh, it's the wattage in the panel, how much they can get out of it is what you really want to know. Uh, like this, this size here, the 39 by 65, uh, starts at 245 watts per panel, and it climbs all the way up to 280, okay? On the bigger panel, more the commercial panel, you get the 305s all the way to the 325s. So it really just depends on your roof. Which one do you really want to put on? Most of the time you're going to see this panel on, on all, probably about 95% of the houses. So we're going to stick to that panel right now. But if you don't have a lot of room, you can jump up here. Sometimes you get a little cheaper price on, on, uh, on, the, on the panel. Okay, so let's come over here. On our other example, we figured out it was a 6K system, 6 point, really 6.0 system, okay? But when it came down to the numbers and we multiply it times 1,000, you know, it came out to be 6,076. Uh, what we do now is we just use this number divided by the panel that we want and you'll figure out how many panels you need, okay? So this is the number that they really use for estimating uh, the price of, of your house. So let's uh, divide uh, 6,076 by, let's go with the 260 and see what we get and what, how many panels we're going to need. And that comes out to be 23.3. So if we went this route, we're going to need 23 panels. Let's try the 280, okay? We're going to divide 6,076 divided by 280, and we get 21.7, okay? So you can never kind of really round up. In this case being 0 0.7, I'd probably go with the 22 panels. So you save about one panel right there, you know, if you go with the bigger panel. Same size, but it gives you an idea, right? So you go for this or do you go for that? You know, that's going to depend on what you get the panel for, the cost of the panel, okay? Now, if you wanted to go with the bigger panel, say you didn't have a lot of roof, let's just divide it by this one over here, okay? the 310. So you're going to take 6,067 divided by 310 and we get 19.5. So you see the big difference in the panels? That's what I'm talking about as far as what you want to pick. Okay. Now if you do yours, your house, Whatever it came out to be, we used 10,500 for the annually. Say yours was more, do the same formula on the other uh, on the other video that we did. Figure out your new number, and let's say your new number came out to be 8,000, okay? Which is an 8K system. They love talking all these fancy words. 8K is really 8,000. You do the same thing, 8,000 divided by whatever panel you want. Let's just try the 280, 8,000 divided by 280, and it's 28.5. So 
So we're going to use 28 panels, okay? So like I said, use what you have in your example, you know, whatever it turns out to be, times a thousand, and you divide it by the panel that you want. Try to stick to these for right now to make it easier on you. There's certain companies that like certain sizes, uh, but, you know, that's up to you. It's the wattage that I want you to understand how we got this, okay? Then we're going to talk about what they charge and why they charge that per watt, okay? So that'll be the end of uh, this series. And like I said, any questions, any suggestions, please email me.